as any woman who gives birth, that child's got the blood of the parent. Planted by the waters, she was fruitful and full of reasons, branches by reason of many waters, and she had strong rods for the scepters of them that bear rule. And the stature was exalted among the thick branches, and she appeared in the height with a multitude of her branches. But, and she hates the but, she doesn't want to acknowledge it. She was plucked up in fury. Well, who plucked her up? The father did. She was cast down to the ground, and the east wind dried up her fruit. Her strong wads were broken and withered, the fire consumed them. That is why you have the burning bush where Moses was then assigned to go back into Egypt. This is part of that fire left. And now she is planted in the wilderness and a dry and thirsty ground and fire has gone out of a rod of her branches which has devoured her fruit, so that she has no strong rod to be accepted to rule. This is a lamentation and shall be for a lamentation. You have to decide if you want her to rule Australia because she's currently ruling. Why? The, pre pulpits, uh, the politicians don't know about her. The judge don't know about her. Whose job was it to reveal her? Every one of them. Male and female that steps into a pulpit and says, we're here to give you the truth as long as you give us our money. Well, that's stopping now because they're concealing treason. Something's gone wrong here. And we're showing them that we're taking it right into the courtroom. Don't pervert the course of justice. Just let the bell ring in the trial. And if the preachers are on the Masonic table, well, so be it. But don't come to this table. <coughs> Micah chapter 7, verse 10. Then she that is my enemy, that's the one I showed you in the tarot card, that's the one they run the Masonic Lodge from, that's the one that's running your banking, your whole political structure, your legal structure and your churches. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? My eyes shall behold her, and thou shalt she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. There's her judgment. She's going down again. 2 Kings 9. And that's why we say, let the dead bury the dead. Well, how can the dead bury the dead? They're alive, but they're dead in the spirit. They're working for her. God is saying, you touch that carcass and you're dead. And the carcass of Jezebel shall be as dung upon the face of the field and the portion of Jezreel so that they shall not say, this is Jezebel. There's Calvin's case. 7 Coke Report 13A 77 ER page 392. I say that for this reference for those who want to go and find it in the library. Where natural allegiance, now that word means allegiance, should be due, for by that which has been said it appears that allegiance and faith and truth, which are her members and parts, are qualities of the mind and soul of man. The politic body or corporate body or corporation has no soul, for it is framed by the policy of man. Here's the problem. They're asking born-again people who now have a soul alive with God the Father to come back to the corporation under the denominational structure, which has no soul. Now, I'm only a farmer running a tractor around the paddock, but that doesn't seem silly to me. What did that just do to the corporate church? Or the denominational church that doesn't exist because the crown's out, but they're still saying it's a corporation. It has no soul. But they're asking people with soul to go back the other way. I wonder why they're dead. And that's why the scripture says, let the dead bury the dead. 1 Corinthians 16. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? For two saith he shall be one flesh. Matthew 8, 22. But Jesus said unto him, follow me and let the dead bury their dead. There it is. John 3, verse 3 to 7, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto him, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time? And that's the point of the statue above the Supreme Court, legs apart. She's birthing this scripture. Can you enter the second time? Well, when you walk in and then you've got to walk out, she's birthed you. In the spirit, 
So that's what it's all about. How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto you, you must be born again. Galatians. Now this is what happened to Paul on the road, who was Saul, who became Paul on the road to Damascus. We see what happened to him in Galatians chapter 1, verse 15 and 16. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb. There it is. Separated from the mother. To go to the Father and call me by his grace to reveal his son in me. This is the most violent man ever raised to attack the Christians. But on the road to Damascus, this is what happened. And Paul, who then changed his name, became the man who wrote most of the New Testament. That I might preach him among the heathen. Immediately I conferred with, not with flesh and blood. That means he didn't get on the telephone, he didn't get on the internet, and he didn't write letters, he went to God. And that's your problem. 1 Corinthians 6, 17, But he that is joined under the Lord is one spirit. Amen to that. Yeah. Jeremiah 23, <coughs> 1 to 2. Woe be unto the pastors. So God's got something against them. And they're saying we're white, we're clean, we're right. We're legal. Problem is they never deliver this scripture. Why? Because they hate it as much as the lawyers hate section 73, 2G. Bring it back to the electorate. They're saying... Hang on, we don't want that scripture in our church because that's a judgment from God on the pastor that scatters the sheep. We've got 23 different churches in this town. And you all agree, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, watch them fight. How can you agree? Oh, that's not our doctrine. We don't preach that. Listen to them. And if one leaves there and goes over there, oh, what happens now? It's like a bowling club. When the lady leaves the bowling club, they're going to rip her to shreds. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, saith the Lord. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my sheep, you have scattered my flock, and driven them away, and they have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. There's an indictment from God on the pastors. Now Isaiah 57.10 relative to the watchman. But it's saying his watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs, they cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Remember what I say to you, Calvin. Are you awake? You say, why are you asking me if I'm awake? Because of this. <laughs> yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain. From his quarter. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine and we will fill ourselves with strong drink and tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Well, that's the pulpit. Absolutely gone to sleep. Looking for their own gain. Mark 12, 27. He is not the God of the dead but the God of the living. You therefore do greatly err because we serve a living God and he has brought us back to life. Everything that has happened is what we represent in him now. So we're going into those courtrooms to represent God the Father in the person of Jesus Christ for the defence and the security of this country. And we need a judgment from that court. Yeah, yeah. Now that's the website, www, I don't need to do all that. Um, we quote Elijah, and Elijah came unto all the people and said, how long you hold you between two opinions? There it is. Next slide, please, Dan. Now that's s stuff that's on the website. There's some more easier clicking spots. Darren's got them all up there. <coughs> 